The Crafters Essential Scoring Board is a must-have item for card makers, but did you know it's perfect for memory keeping as well? In this Perfect Pairings with JC, we will look at three simple scrapbooking embellishments you need for your next layout. <music> This layout will focus on these two photos of my cat, Cookie. We just celebrated her first birthday in November, and these are two photos I printed around then. I'm trying to use some pattern papers I have had in my stash for a while. These papers come from the Altenew and Pink Fresh Studio Celebrate collection, and the Wild Flower Scrapbooking collection. I picked pattern paper scraps that are at most 8 inches tall and 12 inches wide. Down the length of this pattern paper from the Wildflower Collection, I'm repeating half inch score lines, followed by quarter inch. And I'll repeat this pattern until I reach the end of my roughly 8 inch by 12 inch paper. Once I have my score lines, then I can reinforce the folds with either the scoring tool included on the top drawer of the scoring board or the crafter's essential bone folder. I'm alternating folds just like a paper fan, folding the paper toward me and away from me for this pleated pattern with a quarter inch overlap. You'll see on another piece of pattern paper that I changed the overlap to 1 inch and half inch repeats for some textural variation, but feel free to experiment with varying widths of folds. I'm doing this next part off camera because you won't be able to see around my sewing machine, but I decided to use the enchanted gold metallic thread and replaced my bobbin to stitch down random areas of the pleats. I thought the stitching would help break up and balance the repetition and make the layout a little more interesting. But after sewing the paper, I cut the pieces into smaller workable fragments, and now I'm left with these five patterned pleats. I'll set this aside and work on the next focal element to this layout. In my stash, I have these 5 inch by 6 inch scraps from the Altenew Blends 6x6 paper pack. I'll reduce a few of these papers to one and a quarter by six inches. I'm deliberate about cutting the paper the full length of the gradient, as it'll help with this festive folding technique. So in other words, each strip is identical in color and dimension. Then on the Altenew scoring board, I'll score at every quarter inch for the entire length of the gradient for all of the gradient strips. Once I have scored all four strips of pattern paper, I'll accordion fold all of the segments. I'm making one continuous gradient strip, and in order to adhere the strips together, I'm matching gradient sides, and I'll use the quarter inch ultra sticky double sided tape. As always, the specific item is listed in the description box. And uh, as mentioned, I'm creating a continuous gradient strip alternating from dark to light. I have a hot glue gun, but any strong liquid adhesive will work for this next step. But before I glue anything, I've cut three white circles and three circles using scraps of cardstock. I used the half tone circles nesting die set to cut all six circles. The white circles will act as my base for the circular paper fan, so I have this one on the wrong side of the cardstock. And then I'll use the prettier cardstock to be my decorative center for the paper fan. The gradient cardstock set is perfect for these small, roughly 3 inch circle paper fans, and I'll use this to balance the linear elements I have planned for the scrapbook layout. But for now, I'll set this aside as well to work on the final elements of this layout. My layout is already quite color heavy, so in order to bring more texture without adding more colors to my palette, I'm going to use vellum. These are 8.5 by 11 inch sheets of vellum, and the quickest and least fussy way I know to make paper fringe is to use my scoring tool one last time. I made 2 and 3 quarter inch repeating score lines to evenly break the long side of the vellum into four equal segments. Then again, I will accordion fold the paper and 
Along the long side of my folded vellum, I'll create incomplete but even cuts along the entire length of vellum, leaving this nice fringe. Then all I have to do is cut along my score lines to reveal four quick fringe segments. I repeated this for two more sheets of vellum, and now I can quickly assemble my festive layout. Starting from the bottom of my 12 by 12 inch white cardstock, I'll randomly glue and lay down the vellum fringe. I'm using golden edge washi tape to add little strips of subtle shine behind the vellum fringe. And I'm applying this randomly throughout the background. Once I've covered the background from top to bottom in fringe, I'll lay down my sewed pleated pattern paper from the beginning of the tutorial. Then I'll mat both photos onto scraps of colored cardstock and arrange the circular paper fans around the photos. In order to break up the deliberate shapes like defined circles and rectangles on this layout, I'll cut leaf clusters from Craft of Flowers Sulfur Cosmos from a scrap of Wild Flower Collection pattern paper. And then again to balance the linear elements, I picked this script Happy Birthday die to act as my title for this layout. I'll finish this layout with splatters from the Puffy Heart Metallic Shimmer Ink Spray and add a tag for some journaling onto this layout. I love the end result of this festive folded scrapbook layout. It's perfect for any birthday theme page and it's so fitting for my sweet girl kitten. To recap, I used the Altenew scoring board to make pleated pattern paper backgrounds, round paper fans, and quick vellum fringe. Make sure you take advantage of the versatility from the Altenew scoring board for your next memory keeping layout. My series encourages you to shop your existing Altenew stash and rekindle their love with newer releases. Perfect Pairings with JC airs on the Altenew channel every second and fourth Sunday of the month. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Perfect Pairing episode with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello crafters, Jen here. For more tips, techniques, tutorials, and to discover which paper crafting products are right for you, Subscribe to Altenew's YouTube channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching.